Hello, everybody. Howdy. Oh, we're so excited to be doing this video. Yes, we are. We have a lot of surprises to share. And it's not just the efforts of Kim and Mikey. It's the efforts of a lot of people. Yes. So before we kind of like show everything that we have, we kind of want to give our thanks. And um, you guys, you guys are great. Yeah. What this is all getting at, friends, is this. A while back, Kim and I started keeping track of all the Kingdom Halls and congregations that were going bye-bye. You know, another one bites the dust. Just as kind of like just a little prop thing and just so we could see they're diminishing. Yes. And, you know, Kim and I do recognize that early on, a lot of people said, oh, Mike and Kim are full of shit. Watchtower ain't going away. And thanks to those that took the initiative and jumped in and recognized what really was going on. Yeah. And because of their efforts, we have this wonderful thing to share. Yes, so this is the worldwide release of the Watchtower Property Tracker. And I want to thank our property portfolio team. <laughs> My goodness. You know, it wasn't just us. You know, no. we started the list of the Kingdom Halls. And then Laura Kaput contacted me. Uh, her website is saysorry.org. Uh, she contacted me and asked me if they could use our Kingdom Hall list, that they wanted to do a data analyst. And could she bring in a data analyst to do this? Of course. In comes Adam Phillips. And he has done an amazing job on all of this. And the two of them have done graphs. And this portfolio is amazing. And I'll get into details here in just a minute. So thank you, team. And also, um, Bill Hahn from Australia. Um, I'm going to put the link down below to a podcast he did on jwcommunity.org podcast. It was season 3, episode 12, called The Ark and the Lone Shark. And, um, you know, he has helped us with some things, too. And I want to thank Prairie Mountain so much. My goodness. She has been working Tyler tirelessly trying to get our website up and running for this great announcement so yes our website you heard right watchtower.exposed is up and running and we will have the link to adam's watchtower property tracker among other things um you know be patient with us getting some other content for right now because you know we're focusing on getting this information in you know the property tracker available so you know we are up and running now and i put the link down below to that also bonnie and heather they were given a 2012 kingdom hall <laughs> list of every single kingdom hall in the united states as of 2012 <laughs> and my goodness you two have just been getting this done and adding it to the property, so thank you. We appreciate it. And you guys should see how many pages and addresses there are. And they have been going through this and adding it. My goodness. And I want to thank Chris in Germany. He has been sending us tons of Kingdom Halls that were for sale or sold in Germany. And I want to thank Debbie for verifying Australia for us. We really appreciate it. And Sean and Adam for New Zealand. And every single one of you that sent me a property listing or photo is part of this team. Yes, it is because of your efforts. Even those of you that went out of your way to confirm that a Kingdom Hall was up for sale, you you have no idea the amount of information that has been collected and gathered and how it's been analyzed also in conjunction with the child abuse problem that Watchtower 
is suffering from and how these child abuse cases have shown the amount of kingdom halls that have been sold in conjunction and where do we get to the graph because you you friends are just gonna it's just gonna be a huge eye-opener and there again Kim and I we don't deserve any thanks for this because it's this team it's these people and all yeah. of you that jumped in on your own to do this to get us the pictures to alert us to kingdom halls up for sale those that we've asked to confirm the kingdom halls up for sale it's you guys that deserve this thanks Kim and I were just a couple of you know knuckleheads behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> we're a couple of class clowns. And I'm going to be reading Adam's article here in just a few minutes um, because they took this information, and a theory came up of when a commission was started in a country and when property started going up for sale. So we can see, you know, we have a theory of a connection, and I'll, we'll cover that here in just a minute and I also want to thank Atlantis our dear friend and Petra and Kingdom Hall Insider and anyone else that has sent us documents and any information like this you know you guys are all part of the team too right. and thank you to everyone that has been working to make this happen I know you didn't realize by sending mm -hmm. us these property links what extent this information was going to be used what was going on behind the scenes and sometimes it was hard to keep silent yeah. doing some of these nail in the coffins with the kingdom halls because Kim and I knew what was going on behind the scenes and we kind of wanted to keep it quiet because we didn't want anybody stealing all of your thunder all of your dedication and your hard work and in the time that you have spent putting all of this information together so that we can very plainly comprehend how much Watchtower is truly, truly hurting and how much they are going away. Yes, and before I get into the details here of the portfolio, um, the team would like me to ask all of the activists, if you have a YouTube channel, or forum or Facebook page please get this information get it out on all these forums and we want this to go to worldwide because we're asking now for everyone's help um, we're asking people to use this watchtower property tracking tool and or post the tool link under their YouTube videos and um, this is what the snapshot of the Facebook page is going to look like and we're, we're asking people to check the list before adding a property and <laughs> add a property if there is new information or a property is not listing that will make the admins job a little bit easier and uh, what we're doing is we're getting property listing links and adding them to the tool there is a line for that and it's really easy to use so this is like a little interactive thing that we're yes yes oh and it's 100 percent anonymous we don't care who you are you know we're not interested in your information we only want the information on the property and we have we need more records from South America, Central America, Africa, South Africa, Nigeria, Europe, not just kingdom halls, but land, residences, branch properties, and warehouses. See, and also keep in mind jargeries, because I suspect that they're gonna end up selling those to another entity. I could be wrong, I'm just guessing here, but with what every what we can see from watchtower selling like I said in previous videos this is a liquidation sale for watchtower they are getting out of the business because this is a business it's not a religion it's a business 
Yes, exactly. Now, the admins are going to be checking this and verifying this, um, you know, if it's going to stay on the list or not. So, any of you disruptors, you know, who want to cause problems, you know, like you did with JW Survey putting in wrong information, you know, this will be verified. So, fair warning. Yes, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there's also a clean sheet that no one can get a hold of except for a very, very select few. Yeah, and that will be kind of like our foundation um, spreadsheet. And, you know, the public does not have access to that. Um, also, you know, it's kind of sad news, but happy news. But in our nail and coffin, we will no longer be naming each individual Kingdom Hall in the addresses that are up for sale or sold because it has become so time consuming and so much property that I just can't handle that anymore. So it will be available and it will be updated once a month. Um, I would suggest liking Adam's Facebook page. Um, like I said, it's called Awake from Watchtower. And he is going to be updating this once a month. Okay, and I just want to read what the team has given me here. There's, this portfolio has all the known sold and for sale Watchtower properties since 2004, the year that they started selling their Brooklyn, New York properties. The Watchtower announced they plan to sell 4,300 properties in their hub video. <laughs> and here's the screenshot from that, because we all know about that. And if you see, it says that up going up for sale is going to be 4,308 properties. 1,518 have already sold. Um, there was 606 sold in 2017, 867 sold in 2018, and at the time of the video they did, um, in 2019, 45 had been sold for a total of... Um, 1,518 it's already sold um, but on their list as you can see 4,308 are to be sold that means that on our watchtower portfolio we only have about 1% of properties sold that we know about now I also want to mention that as of April 5th Adam had sold Two billion three hundred and eighty-eight million eight hundred and three thousand dollars of property already sold, and we know a big chunk of that was their Brooklyn properties. Right. But there's a quite a few that we don't know how much they sold for. So if anybody has any of that information that we can add, go to the you know link here, the Watchtower property sales tracking, and put that information in the list for sale right now that we know of is 126,480,000 so let we also like to keep track of funds and talk about money too you guys are claiming poverty you can't pay all of these uh, restitution fees to the child abuse victims here's proof that you can Here's proof let, that you guys are swimming in the dollar bills. Because as of April 5th, 2020, total property sale portfolio is $2.51 billion. Huh. I guess Rutherford was right. Religion is a snare and a racket. Well, I don't know about that, but the real estate empire can make a nice chunk of change. Well, there again, let's let's hide as a publishing company and pretend to be a religion, and then when that fails, because the internet, because everybody gets your news on the internet, you know, they can move all their watchtowers to the internet. They don't need to be a printing company anymore. Now they are a real estate corporation pretending to be that religion. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Um, however, 
they are not converting the cash into more purchases that we know of. We therefore expect this portfolio to more than double. Critically, our analysis appears to show that Watchtower is prioritizing property sales in locations where child sexual abuse was alleged. They then declare that they are unable to find member records. Now there's a beautiful graph here and it shows when a investigation or um, a grand jury investigation or inquiry or a commission was started in a country and then after that property started being sold in this and they have done a beautiful job of doing each country um, where the commission was and then they have graphs I'm impressed by what they did with the graphs and everything in here yes and thank you friends once again for taking the initiative <clears throat> jumping in and doing this because it shows that we can come together as a community even with different religious views and get something like this accomplished so that your family members can see that Watchtower is going away as a religion or as a real estate however you want to view it they're hurting and these graphs show that they're hurting because they're selling all their kingdom halls because the people are leaving and their cash flow mechanism excuse me the contribution box you know they, they want all of your ice cream money they want your piggyback bank money don't send it because they, they've already sold over two billion dollars worth of property keep your ice cream money people keep your piggyback money keep your vacation money don't give it to them because they're swimming in the money. Exactly. Now, Adam gave me permission to reach, read the article that is going to be on his Facebook page. Hopefully the same time this video goes live. And it's follow the money. <laughs> Since 2004, the Watchtower Society has amassed at least $2.52 billion dollars from property sales and properties up for sale that we currently know about and this figure is increasing daily and I know it is increasing because I've seen the spreadsheet this morning and those figures I just gave you were from April 5th a you know, few days ago yeah and what's not included in this is <clears throat> all of the vehicles that we all purchased for circuit overseers that another JW purchased when it was no longer needed or used by the circuit overseer so there's there's another avenue of watchtower generating a cash flow yeah in fact the websites Hudson Valley tools uh, the yeah Kingdom Hall support services website is gone and so is the circuit vehicles for sale website gone See? so yeah we don't know how much cuz I mean they had cranes in there you know these big heavy equipment that were sometimes like a million bucks yep so how much did they get for that okay so first I'm gonna read now for the worldwide announcement this is an Adams article the graphs that you see attached to this post were generated by data collected by Mike and Kim Brooks as part of their nail and coffin YouTube series but it is incomplete and we know that Many of the properties we know have been sold or are up for sale. We can't find amounts for. For others, we struggle to get proof in the form of verifiable property listings. Also, the data is mostly focused on the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia. What's happening in these countries is likely happening in others, too. So I've developed a form to easily enter and track watch our property interests, but we need help from of as many XJW activists and current JW PMOs as possible worldwide to fill in the gaps and register both old and new Watchtower properties sold or up for sale and like I said the form is really easy to use it is important that links to property listings be attached to the records you enter if possible this then removes Watchtower's ability to claim that this data is apostate lies. <laughs> the best part is, and I'm going to labor the point because it's important, this property capture form is totally anonymous. 
We are not interested in who provides the information, just the information itself. Also, we don't want the Watchtower Society to discover the sources of our information. Right. That is, you know, a biggie. For your own protection, it's better all around if we just don't know. Me, Laura, Mike and Kim Brooks, and Bill Hahn are already known to Watchtower under our real names. Watchtower have absolutely no leverage on us. <laughs> yes, because there's nothing they can take from us that haven't already taken. Amen. Yes. For some whistleblowers in this research, research initiative, you may still be at risk, and we don't want to jeopardize your identities. That's why the form and its data are strictly anonymous. I intend, as time allows, to provide a monthly Watchtower property sales update on the Awake from Watchtower Facebook page, and I'm sure Mike and Kim will announce it on their Nail and Coffin videos and on their Watchtower.expose website as well. Yes, we will. And like I said, this, you know, does away with us, you know, having to do each individual address in Kingdom Hall in a nail and coffin, which has been taken an hour or more. And it's horrible for me to try to edit the video with all those screenshots of property listings. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Now for the theory about this. Over the past few years, the XJW activists Mike and Kim Brooks have been doing a nail and coffin YouTube video each month, advertising the name, the number of people that have awakened from the idiotic, <laughs> dare I say, bullshit doctrines and policies of Jehovah's Witnesses. More recently, Mike and Kim Brooks have been announcing congregation dissolvings, mergings, closures, and deregistrations, as well as sales of kingdom halls assembly halls, and branch offices. Thousands and thousands of people are leaving the Jehovah Witness cult and they are taking their money with them. No more donations or free labor from them. The Washtar Society has been spinning this fervor of sales activity to the remaining gullible indoctrinated congregants as proof of increased growth. An optimal use of dedicated funds. The truth is Washtar is financially desperate in the rich wealthy nations. Added to all that are the ma many highly public government level investigations, inquiries, commissions, and multi-million dollar lawsuits aimed at Watchtower for their criminal negligence and mishandling of historic and current child sexual abuse perpetrated within its walls and by its members. Examples of this now we know that the Australian Royal Commission was announced first back in 2012. Examples of this are the 2013 to 2017 Australian Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse and the 2019 New York Child Victims Act and the Grand Jury Inquiry. But countries such as the United Kingdom, Netherlands, Germany, Canada, and New Zealand have <coughs> also launched their own independent investigations into how Jehovah's Witnesses mishandle cases of child sexual abuse. Watchtower is not getting off lightly. The reports so far are scathing and the legal payouts, past, present, and future, are piling up. The question is this, is Watchtower and by extension the governing body selling off property assets to offset the financial impacts of guilty verdicts in the courts and potential multi-million dollar liabilities due to the unfavorable findings of the various commissions into child sexual abuse. The theory is, yes they are. Yes. And here's why. And he goes <laughs> into this, so I will let you go read the article. That's right, you got to finish reading it on his uh, Facebook page. Yeah, because then he gets <laughs> into the graphs. Yep. So, you know, Go to his Facebook page and go over all of this because they have spent a tremendous amount of time yep. and, you know, we've all had a lot of late nights and long hours trying to get this up and running. So, go check out his Facebook page. Okay. Um, also... We want to share a scripture from the Bible with everybody because it's very apropos. Um, I guess what I'm going to do first is read it from the New World Translation. 
and then we're gonna have Kim reread it again only this time with Adam's input into this scripture yeah because this is the scripture he yes. found and we thought this was very apropos Amos chapter 5 11 through um, 12 right yeah yeah and it doesn't matter if you believe in the Bible or an atheist or whatever it doesn't matter but just listen to what it's saying because it fits watchtower yes Amos chapter 5 starting with verse 11 therefore for the reason that you are extracting farm rent from someone lowly and the tribute of grain you keep taking from him houses of hewn stone you have built but you will not keep dwelling in them the desirable vineyards you have planted but you will not keep drinking the vine of them for I have known how many your revolts are and how many your sins are O oh, you who are showing hostility towards someone righteous you who are taking hush money and the ones who have turned aside poor people even in the gate I'm gonna read verse 13 therefore the very one having insight will in that time keep silent for it will be a calamitous time well for those of us that have insight we're not keeping silent exactly. we're gonna let everybody know exactly what's going on watchtower yeah and at this point there's nothing watchtower can do about any of this they can't shut this up and they can't get rid of public records for properties you know so all right I'm gonna read that same scripture with Adam's comments therefore for the reason that you watchtower are extracting farm rent from someone low, lowly and the tribute of grain you keep taking from him demanding contributions of time and money <clears throat> ice cream money to be specific <laughs> piggy bank mon money to be specific <laughs> houses of hewn stone you have built kingdom halls assembly halls branch offices but you will not keep dwelling in them property will be underutilized and sold and desirable vineyards you have planted but you will not keep drinking the wine of them people that you used and abused to your benefit will leave for I have known how many your revolts are. Watchtower has itself turned apostate. And how mighty your sins are. Decades hidden child sexual abuse. Oh, you who are showing hostility towards someone righteous. Disfellowshipping, shunning, excommunicating, whistleblowers, DMC takedown notices toward activists. You who are taking hush money money laundering of contributions and property sale proceeds phoenixing phoenixing now that was a new word for me and so the team explained it to me we all know what a phoenix is it rises from the ashes yeah. <laughs> of ruins or a fire or something destroyed and this is what watchtower is doing it's phoenixing it's rising from the ashes of the old cult and redoing itself and that just made me think of something real quick that I'm getting notices and people are telling me that their JW family are enjoying staying home instead of getting ready and going to meetings way too much and they are being asked what do you think about an online religion and they're all for it they all want an online religion <laughs> we saw that coming a long time ago wink wink mom yeah okay back to the scripture and the ones who have turned aside poor people even in the gate opposing child sexual abuse victims in the courts instead of accepting responsibility that's, you know that's exactly what they've been doing yeah and it's not just the watchtower babble crap society that's in this boat there's a lot of cults a lot of christian based religions that are all being examined in this manner yeah, and I just want to mention, I did a video several months ago about the Mormon Church 
how they're kind of like phoenixing also they're taking the money that they have gotten for donations and all of this and they're putting it in some of their other entities their other corporations and they're un under scrutiny right now and being investigated so how is this any different from what Watchtower is doing it's not so this information now these spreadsheets and everything can be taken and given to whoever you want lawyers journalists any of them you see watchtower governing body when you sit there and you try to use fear mongering that is presented in the book of revelation how the governments will turn on Babylon the Great and in one swift day she's gone everybody will be looking around where is she where is she <clears throat> all of that nonsense that you've indoctrinated so many people were thinking that the governments will turn on religion not one time have you ever considered that it would be ex-members forcing the government's hand in this matter it's not God putting it in the hearts to do this it's ex-members that are doing people who love righteousness whose stomachs are turned inside out because of your child sexual abuse whose stomachs are turned inside out because of the shunning policies whose stomachs are turned because you alone are destroying families it's us in this community that are putting the bug in all of these politicians ears it's not God doing it it's human beings do it because we are sick to death of your nonsense we are sick to death of you destroying people's lives righteously inclined honest hearted people they're the ones that you are hurting in all of this because you've convinced everybody that you are the faithful discreet slave you're neither faithful and you are no longer discreet because it's human beings that are being used to expose you and as far as what we know 2.52 billion dollars that's right it just makes you sick to your stomach makes you sick to see and that's why us activists are forcing this issue now and we have the means to do it oh yeah watchtower we've got the means to do it yes and thanks to all of you friends that have stood up and taken taken the pass that Kim and I have thrown to all of you because this is too much for Kim and I to do so you guys have jumped in and you've taken the ball and you have run with it and we will score a huge victory in this yes and we appreciate it so much because like I said it has gotten to be so much for me to do um, just getting things trying to get things ready for the next nail and coffin I mean I had a stack of Kingdom Halls this thick and it's like I just can't do this and the property tracker and everything so this will be a burden off of me and a big relief and I am still gonna be adding things to yes. oh, the yeah. watchtower property tracker I'm not giving that up <laughs> so any of you that have property listings or n photos or know about a kingdom hall or any watchtower property up for sale or just sold still email me at Kimmy M Brooks at gmail.com or you can go put it in the watchtower property tracker yourself but I'm still going to be adding these things and uh, so we look forward to this growing and this way everybody everybody because you see on these forums like reddit and jehovahwitness.com you know you'll see like oh these kingdom halls for sale or these kingdom halls for sale or this branch for sale this will give everyone an international um, spreadsheet 
portfolio and we want information on any country as long as it's a watchtower property we don't care what country we want to know That's right all right so thank you so much for watching guys and um, it's Easter weekend so let's hope that this is going to be a dying <laughs> of the watchtower cult and resurrecting a resurrection of a new rebirth of a free world a yes. free from <clears throat> cult our freedom Let's make sure that Watchtower stays in the grave. <laughs> yeah. And we are still going to be doing the people oh, yeah. pins yes. in the coffin. So, you know, if you want to be yeah. in the coffin lid, you know, let me know. We are still going to be doing yeah. that. So, and because of my headphones getting eaten by the cat, we are moving the podcast we're going to be on to April 19th. But we will let, as we get closer, we'll keep everybody informed whether we're going to be able to do that or not. Yes. So. So remember, friends, to share this video, share the information, especially the, um, the, um, the graph. The link. The link. That way you can physically, visibly see the information that has already been compiled and check back with it so you will continue to see what more information is being compiled because the graph is just going to do nothing but go up and up and up and up until Watchtower is done. Yeah, this is not the end of the property portfolio. This is the beginning and we're going to grow and any of you who do YouTube videos and like I said have Facebook pages forums anything blogs grab this information let's plaster it everywhere and get this information out we want everybody's help and it's very much appreciated yes so thanks for watching and i guess we will catch you in the next video bye bye